let's go have a look at today's job. <laughs> So today we are going to be tackling the brickwork on the 200 year old barn conversion we're doing. <sighs> That's all the block work I did, the joists are on, got a couple of seals in and we're going to be laying these. These are the original bricks that were on the barn when it was first built 200 years ago and we're now just cleaning them up and relaying them all. We've got a couple of pallets of them all banded up ready to be used. The only thing is they are really wet and they hold water really bad. So uh, yeah, we're gonna crack on, get loaded out, get set up, see how we get on. Here we go. So we are pretty much all loaded out, ready to go. Just want to show you the different bricks we're going to be laying today. These are just five from this stack here. Lots of different sizes, widths, lengths. So it should be fun. I've got another bricklayer with me today who kind of specializes in stonework and barn conversions and this uh, sort of old brickwork. So it should be a good laugh. All right, let's crack on. I'd say, you know what, if this corner's coming down though, there, we, uh, we can, just carry on and just blend it in nice, you know what I mean? I don't have to stress too much about picking up. Right, Demo. Trying to put the right pieces back together. The reason I'm flushing up all the perps and beds is because we're going to have to come back to this in a couple of days and point this up. So I'm just making sure that everything's full. So at least when we come back to it, we don't have to fill any holes. Yeah, when was this laid? One day. At the moment, we're currently scraping these bricks, which were laid on Monday, just with a little trowel, cleaning off all the arises, and then tomorrow, we'll give them a wire brush. But this was laid Monday, and it's still so wet. Here we are, so this is how the job is looking at the moment. We dropped the tarpaulin earlier just so the sun could hit these uh, these bricks because they are absolutely soaking, they're really wet. So we've stopped at this height here just to save the brickwork coming out. So uh, yeah, that corner there is actually getting taken down and rebuilt. So at the moment I'm just toothing out and we're gonna line that through at a later date. So yeah, overall it's gone all right. Not too bad at all. The only thing is these bricks are any shape, any size. So there's four different sizes, but these are my two favorites from today. Beautiful. Good morning, right. We are back on the barn conversion today. Representing Britlayer Social Club with the new hoodie. Uh, I'll give you a little tour, show you what we've done this morning. So let's get to it. 
This is the back side of the barn. If anyone's wondering about the bond, every six courses we've got half bat in it. Uh, it's just uh, a requirement for planning permission. They, uh, they wanted that pattern. Uh, and the sand and cement mix is just, uh, it's quite a weak mix, but it would have been nice to use white, uh, white cement, but we've only got the materials given to us. So we're just using what we've got. But yeah, that's the stage we are at right now. Pretty much at a decent height. So we'll probably set a little hop up up and we just need to hit lintel height. And then in a little while, we're gonna be going up onto the gay blend up there. So Sand, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Here we go then. So we have got this gable up to the height of my corbel, which I'll be doing in the new bricks probably uh, in a few weeks. And then we've returned onto this gable end here. Got a few down. It's actually gone all right today. We've actually got quite a few bricks laid. It's nice being up here out of the mud. At the moment, I'm just pulling into this profile here. It's kind of a dead man. And eventually this stonework you see here on this corner it's going to be all coming down and rebuilt as you can see it's got a right belly on it so uh, yeah that's going to be all rebuilt and then we're going to pull from this corner through so yeah all good So all I'm doing now is just we're just wire brushing the work we did a few days ago after flushing it with a trowel and that's the finish we're going for that sort of rough old look and it's coming up really well. Here we go so we have just finished wire brushing the wall uh, and all our work, what we laid Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and a bit yesterday. And it's come up really, really nice. You can really see the iris of the brick. And it just looks pretty tidy. I'm quite happy with it. It's a rough sort of pointing, but it just matches these bricks really, really well. Beautiful.
<laughs> yeah, I can speak a little bit, but you know what? I never really paid attention at school. Um, yeah, so I can probably just about get by. <laughs> if anyone wants to know what time it is, I can, you know, boss Kronise, and that's about it. <laughs> I can ask out uh, what your name is, and <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> a few little bits and bobs, but nothing major. There, uh, yeah. I only started trying to learn it um, when I went back on holiday. That's like when I thought to myself. I kind of took the piss here, I, sh I really should have learnt it while I lived here. Yeah. So. The thing is, when you live abroad like that, everyone else speaks English, so you don't yeah. feel the need to, to learn it. That's good laugh. We spend most of our weekends up there. Yeah, yeah. It's not far then. But the island's only, it takes an hour and a half to get to one side to the other. So, I've only ever been there. Yeah, it's, it's a good laugh I have there. I've got my statue there. How long are we out there then? I was there for 10 years. Yeah, I moved there when I was like 9. Come back at 19. Thought, nah, fuck the sun. I'll go lay bricks in the gold. <laughs> Here we go, so it's just gone midday and we've got this panel in here. We've racked back there because we actually have a couple of lintels to go in here. Um, so we're doing it in two its. So yeah, but it's going all right. Looks pretty tidy. And now we're just gonna move round and tackle this gable. off this gable need to come back on Sunday to finish this and then the gable end is almost done here we are then so we ended up getting this gable end up we set the window out just ready for table lift now and the cut up which is going to be the dog tooth pattern you've seen me doing a load on this uh, on this place but yeah overall it's been a really good week made some solid progress obviously we've got downstairs pretty much up uh, almost to lintel height did this and uh, yeah it's just gone it's gone pretty well we're going to come back on sunday and point up these bricks because they are absolutely soaking but yeah overall it's been a really good week made some good progress so i hope you guys have enjoyed the last three days of filming it's been so sad anyway make sure you like comment subscribe all that shit <laughs> have a good weekend guys i'll catch you in the next one